What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We are live from CES 2012 with the just announced HTC Titan 2 with its whopping 16 megapixel camera and LTE speeds. Let's go ahead and take a first look at this guy and see if it deserves a place in your pocket. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. All right, so first and foremost, let's talk about the specs of the Titan 2 and then I'll walk you through it. So we are looking at 4G LTE speeds, thumbs up for that. You've got that same 4.7 inch display and it's always measured diagonal. That's a super LCD screen, of course it's capacitive. Uh, it's rocking Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon chip, the 1.5 gigahertz uh, S2 and that's a single core chip. As I mentioned on the back, the real big deal here is that 16 megapixel camera uh, with dedicated camera button that all Windows phone devices have right there. Uh, it's got autofocus, dual LED flash, uh, f2.6 28 millimeter uh, wide angle lens and 720p video recording and it also has a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front for getting your video calling on or taking your Facebook profile page. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the design of this. Uh, it weighs 5.2 ounces. Uh, the 4.7 inch display is WVGA and that's a LCD capacitive touchscreen of course being powered by a pretty beefy 1730 milliamp hour battery. All right, so that's all the specs. Let's take a look at the device itself. A little bit different than the original Titan, we'll have coming up a Titan 2 versus Titan 1 video. On the front, it looks very Windows Phone, as most <laughs> Windows phones do. Uh, you do have capacitive buttons down here. They do light up, but you can see them all the time, which is nice. Um, on the back of the phone, uh, we've got now a soft touch feel. Uh, we've got what appears to be a faux sort of speaker all right there, but that is not a speaker. It's got the little soft touch rubber feel. There's where the speaker lives, dual LED flash, that's 16 megapixel camera. On the left-hand side of the device, that's where you're gonna charge with your micro USB. On the top, power and lock button in my favorite position on the right-hand side, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, a microphone for noise reduction. Tipping it over on the bottom, you got another microphone, and that is about it for the specs. So let's take a quick look at some of the stuff that's gonna come on here. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So of course, AT&T stuff is gonna be all over here. Uh, one of the great things about Windows Phone is the Xbox integration. So you've got some Xbox games in here. Although surprisingly, this one does not have an LTE connectivity right now, because it doesn't have a SIM card in it. So let's see what else we're gonna have. HTC Hub, of course. Marketplace, Messenger, People, and YP Mobile is really the only AT&T uh, branded application that's on this uh, pre-release device. So I'll go ahead and go back. Let's see what else is gonna be on the home screen. So you've got your calendar and all your live tiles with the Metro UI uh, that we've come to know on Windows Phone 7. Uh, so this will be coming out in the coming months uh, for AT&T Wireless. Again, this is going to be a 4G LTE device, and of course it'll be HSPA Plus capable uh, if you're not in an LTE area. Uh, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you wanna see what this looks like, the 60 megapixel camera, I will have a few picture samples uh, at the end of this video. See you guys soon.